Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in New Smyrna Beach, Florida today. I'm testing Edgewater boats. This one is new for 2014. It is the 230D. It's ideally designed for diesel power and we happen to have a brand new Volvo Penta D3 engine below. It is a tier three engine that meets the highest emissions compliance requirements and it gives you tremendous power thanks to the turbocharger and great fuel economy. I'm gonna walk you through this boat, show you some of the great power features, but first take a look at the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with a Volvo Penta 220 horsepower D3 dual prop stern drive. Our test prop set was a stainless steel FH4 dual prop with three blades. We had a test load of six passengers and 50 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 44.5 miles per hour at 4,000 RPM. Our time to plane was five seconds and we reached 30 miles per hour in 10 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 30.1 miles per hour at 3,200 RPM while burning just 7.5 gallons of fuel per hour. Now Volvo Pent is all about making the ownership experience easy and fun. They take a lot of the work out of it. Take trim assist here. It automatically seeks the appropriate trim level for your throttle setting. All you have to do is engage it and you never have to worry about what your trim setting is. There's a cruise assist on board too. You can raise or lower your throttle settings by 50 RPM at the touch of a button. That makes it really nice for adjusting your trolling speed, your no wake speed, or to meet the speed limits in your area. Now Edgewater and Volvo Penta have worked together to give you two ways to monitor your engine systems. First, you have the color Volvo Penta LCD gauge here. It gives you all your engine functions, including fuel flow and fuel economy, so you can calculate your range. All the instrumentation is also displayable through the Garmin GPS system, which gives you that second option. It gives you a lot of security and a great view of how your engines are functioning. Now, in order to give you easy access to the D3 engine, Edgewater has put it under an electric lift. That raises the console. You can see there's plenty of workspace around the engine to get to the oil filter or the fuel filters. The engine is jack shafted to an Ocean X drive, which is titanium coated to give you complete corrosion resistance. The system is a closed cooling system, and together that gives you a great long life with a minimum of maintenance. Now the cockpit and transom is set up for hardcore fishing with a lot of great features. You've got an extra long fish box in the transom, and a bait prep station in the center. To the port, you've got a huge live well that's aerated and recirculated. Under each combing, there are rod hangers, three on each side that'll keep your tackle secure. If you happen to be a diver, you're gonna like the swim platform. It makes a great place to get ready to go and get back on board. Now, in addition to the rod holders under the combings, I like these combing pads. It makes it very comfortable when you're fighting fish. You've also got tow rails here that you can hook your toes under to give yourself secure footing when you're leaning far over to gaff a fish. You step forward, you'll see we've got a raw water connection here for washing down the deck. The hardware on this boat is super strong. I like the fact that Edgewater uses house pipes to the cleats. It gives you a secure connection to the dock that won't chafe the fiberglass. Now for cruising comfort, Edgewater has added the jump seat forward of the console. You can also add seat cushions on the forestep, and the combings are just perfectly angled to give you a nice backrest. The entire area is surrounded by a stainless steel grab rail to give a secure ride. This one's even equipped with an electric windlass. Now the Edgewater 230D is equipped with Edgewater's unique SPI hull system. That's single piece infusion. What that gets you is the ideal ratio between glass and resin that makes the hull super light and super strong. I like the fact that we have the hard top on board. It's optional and it comes with spreader lights. That makes it ideal for night fishing because they brightly light the cockpit and use practically no power. I'll tell you what, this is gonna be a favorite boat in the Northeast among charter captains and in Alaska for salmon fishing. It's also gonna make a great dive platform. I'm Randy Vance and this is the Edgewater 230D. I'm gonna take this one for another spin.